man, I need a drink before I start this part. I didn't know. I didn't think I was gonna make it this far. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was. I don't. I did, but I also just took it one day at a time, one show at a time. Um, you know, you sort of make it past this round, end up in the next round, and the only thing you can control is what you bring, what I bring to the stage. That's I, what I focused on, was just giving the best I got. That's all I can do. I'm really proud to have made it this far. For a while, I thought Astro should be someone other than myself, but I learned that the moments where I slipped up on being a character, broke my character, and then became myself accidentally in the suit were the moments that people were like, dude, that was awesome, and I was like, was it? Because I did, and I realized in that moment that it was such a beautiful metaphor for life that um, it doesn't matter what mask you wear, you still function better as yourself. Story of my life, I take her home, I drive all night to keep her warm. So performing without the mask for the first time was uh, both weird and easier. It was nice to be able to look people in the eye and actually interact with them. I almost, I, honestly, I forgot that I could do that <laughs> for a little bit. So it was super fun to finally be able to just like connect the way that I've been trying to connect without a face. This time in my life is a great chance for me to sort of hit a reset button and to try a bunch of things that I was scared of. And this show is full of those. I found a new voice here. I found a new uh, stage presence here too. So. It, I, I didn't know what to expect, but I came here to challenge myself, and <laughs> the Masked Singer definitely challenged me. This was kind of a chance for me to see that I love performing. I love the limelight, but at the end of the day, performing is my heart and soul. That's the best part about making music, is that moment, that connection, that thing that I was working on the whole time that I was on the show. So. My experience being anonymous um, helped me reconnect with the parts of what I do that I love. And I'm very grateful for that. I think you are breaking records, hitting them high notes tonight with that falsetto. Yeah. Amazing job. Really good. For a minute there, none of the guesses were making sense. And I was just like, I don't, are they hearing the same thing I'm hearing? He keeps throwing me every week. I really, I had no idea. I kind of felt a little sly, you know, towards the end, being able to slip all these hints and just get away with it. Come on. I mean, when you think about the clues, right? Everything from, uh, Dear God, which is a song off my last album, um, to Wanted, which is a song off my first album, Storm Warning, Crazy, The Bridge, Road Bridge, The Guinness World Record, Mardi Gras, Louisiana, there was a French horn. We had just laid all the hints on where I was from and the fact that I have sung in French in the past. To be honest, there were a couple clues I didn't really know anything about. Orion's Belt, for instance, I had no idea that translated to Hunter. Um, I was pretty convinced that the king cake was gonna be the the, uh, the, the icing on the cake. I mean, the list goes on. The team that works on these costumes is incredible. Um, from the drawing that I saw to what I'm wearing right now, literally nothing has changed. I fell in love with the drawing, um, and they made subtle changes so that like, I could move my arms for a minute. It was longer here, and I could, it was kind of stiff, and they fixed that, and then the shoes, like the being able to walk. I'm a big jumper, so they had to find a way for me to be able to do that and move on stage and feel comfortable, not like I'm in a costume. And they did a great job, like the pants don't actually connect to the shoes, they like go all over and they like clip and there's Velcro and it's crazy. And uh, it's actually super easy to get in and out of, which is something I'm very grateful for when you're, uh, you know, 150 degrees coming off stage. This has been such a beautiful reset for me. And by reset, I mean, this has been such a beautiful place for me to find the voice that I've always had, but couldn't connect with until now.